From my father's estate, cake calculator didn't work, still sold within the hour for $650. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, I've got almost 40 bolos coming your way. These are items that sold in April from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So what I did is I posted this screenshot right here in the group, invited everybody in my Facebook group to share their best April Bolo. Most of these are gonna be big money Bolo items, items that you should be on the lookout for that you can hopefully buy low and sell high. If you would like to be a part of the next video, you can go over to my Facebook group that looks like this and join and share a Bolo in the comments. Um, it is completely anonymous completely anonymous. I only share your Bolo unless you are a featured member of my YouTube channel. And you can become a featured member by joining memberships at level two. There's a join button down below. No worries if you're not interested. This is really for people that want to get a shout out to their eBay store or their um, YouTube channel. So there's more information on that when you click the join button. Thank you all for being here. My channel is completely free. Memberships is for perks. All right, we are gonna get started with some big money bolos. All right, the first item here is this, um, I'm sorry, these are a pair of climbing shoes. They are used to scale the sides of mountains. They're super unique to their purpose and sell very quickly or pretty quickly. If you find them, make sure that the toes are in good condition or else they're not worth picking up. These were in great shape and I found them at the Denver Goodwill Benz. I find them a lot here since it's pretty mountainy here. I paid $1.18 for them by weight. I listed them for $64.99 and accepted in a best offer of $58.49. This one comes from a rural squirrel. Definitely go and check out her YouTube channel. She has tons of Goodwill Benz content, which is super fun to watch, but it is also very educational. Check out these. They are Adidas Rock Mountain Climbing Shoes. I found this clock at an estate sale. I, pay, I did pay up for it, $45, but it sold on auction for $332.77. It is a Hickory Dickory Doc Mouse novelty wall clock. Check that out. It's vintage and it works. That is awesome. Found these at an appointment only estate sale. I went back three times and spent three grand. Average cost for these is 10 to $15. Even the broken ones I bought will profit. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Okay, so this one is a Franklin Mint um, Junker. I, it looks like it's a plane, a camo plane. And the next one is another one. It looks like a plane also. So I don't know too much. I don't know if these are like models or exactly what they are, but I'm going to pop this screen share up for you guys to really take a look at if you need to pause and kind of get an idea of what exactly these are. But these come from Bolo Buddies member MSG Treasures. He is a major Bolo finder. Definitely go check out his YouTube channel and his eBay store. Okay, so. Here is another one from him. This sale happened a couple hours after I shared the one above. I've included some close-up screenshots in the comments. Also would like to point out that a lot of these had broken pieces and they still sold. Disclosed, of course. So you guys, I sell broken stuff all the time. As long as you put it in the description, I also like to note it right at the top under the title, people will still buy broken items. 10 total tanks purchased from one buyer. So these, I think this is that same lot that he got at the estate sale. 10 to 15 each, I think is what he said. And I'm just going to pop them up here. There's a whole bunch of different crazy names and stuff. So it'll be easier for you guys to just pause and take a look at that. All right. This one comes from Leo's Treasures eBay store. I got this at a garage sale for $1 and sold it for full asking price of $35.96. It's a 2016 Starbucks tumbler. So these Starbucks things, anytime I see Starbucks, I look it up. I definitely recommend looking up anything Starbucks. This next one comes from Jack's Treasures. They have a YouTube channel. They also have a TikTok. I 
think it's Jack's Treasures also, but I'm not on TikTok, so I'm not 100% sure. This was part of it, one of the huge vintage toy hauls we did from a private pick. I'm guesstimating that we paid about $2 for each item. Sold on eBay through Global Shipping Program. It is a Playmates toy Simpson family Christmas interacting talking playset. Definitely a bolo, 70 bucks plus shipping. She also shared this one. Found all these together at a little church run thrift store. Children's books are a dollar a bag. Sold on eBay within a week or two for $72. The Great Brain Lot books, one through seven. Never heard of that. Huh. John D. Fitzgerald. Soft cover. All right. I like book lots that sell for big money. So definitely going to try to remember that one. The Great Brain. Huh. And then she's got one more here for us. Bought at one of our usual thrift stores for $3. Sold full asking price on eBay within two weeks. Christmas sells all year. This is a Lennox Snowman by uh, Lynn Bywaters. Piper in the Snow Irish Celtic St. Patrick bagpipe. Sold for $75.87. Found at the Goodwill bins. Cost $2. Had no idea what it was. Surprise! It's a Robert Graham sports coat. And it sold for $70 plus shipping, it looks like. All right, paid 84 cents at the Goodwill Benz. It is a Bobby Brooks orange embroidered Halloween shirt. And this sold for $34 plus shipping. So anytime you can get a shirt that has Halloween or Christmas, sometimes those are going to sell more because people are wanting them for that particular holiday. Paid $50 on a YouTube auction. Pam, a little this and a little that. Sold within 12 hours. Only one other was listed for $149. So I listed for $139 and also used more photos, including the graphics on the back of the box, which other listing did not include. Sold for full asking price plus buyer paid shipping. It is a rare new Mattel Charmin Chatty Doll 1962 Let's Play Tea Party and record set. So $139.99. Awesome. And that one comes from Bolo Buddies member Mom. Mom knows treasures. Most profitable profitable sale uh, so far this month. Paid $2. It looks like they are women's. Oh, I can't read it. Balmoral. B-A-L-M-O-R-A-L boot. I think it's really small on my computer. It looks like this. I, I'll try to zoom in bigger on the, the screenshot there. And those sold on Posh. Found this Disney Parks Trader Sam's Tiki Bar dress at the bins. Paid a dollar on Saturday. Listed it yesterday for $350 and took a best offer of $300. Sold in about 12 hours of being listed on Poshmark. Again, you guys, if you're not selling on Poshmark and Mercari, I definitely recommend it. Um, I sell on eBay and then I also sell on those two platforms as like my secondary. eBay is my number one. I start my items on eBay and then I use List Perfectly to cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. You use it uh, to cross post your items. And I love it. I've been using it since 2019. I do have a demo video down in the description if you guys want to check it out. If you like what you see and you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. I absolutely love it. More eyes, different buyers. So, all right. Bought five rolls of this thread for a dollar each at the Goodwill. I've sold four of them in just over a month, 90 to 100 a roll. Still have one left. So it is Tenera, T-E-N-A-R-A, sewing thread. Sold it for $107.99. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, this one comes from Mom's Mom Knows Treasures. A friend gave me four items she received free at a casino. I had it listed for $350 and it was set on no offers accepted. I put offers on all my items so it was a mistake or a glitch. Buyer messaged me if I would take $225 and I couldn't say yes fast enough. This buyer had previously bought a sheet from me. She said she loved it and bought the duvet for her mom for Mother's Day. So Lago di Como, King Cali, King duvet cover. So $225 on that one. Found this pair of still life oil paintings at Goodwill for $3 and sold them on Etsy for $165 with free shipping. John Wallace, British painter in the late later 1800s, 
Still life fruit oil paintings, antique framed artwork, independently authenticated. Sorry, that's I struggle with that word. Um, so what was it? 165 on Etsy. And I do cross post some of my items to Etsy. I should be more diligent about that because I do think it's a great platform. I just, there's just not enough hours in the day. So I really focus on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. eBay, you guys, if you're on Poshmark and Mercari and Etsy and you're not on eBay, please get on eBay. It is amazing. You're definitely going to sell way more on eBay. In my opinion, that has been my experience that I sell the most on eBay. This 19th antique 19th century religious altarpiece was free from a family's friend's estate. It sold just shy of three months on Etsy for $285 with free shipping. Wow. Check that out. Paid $2.99 at the Goodwill. Would have walked right by it, but my son was with me who was a gamer and told me he thought it would be a good flip. Come to find out, it was a rare color. The only ones in this particular color available on eBay were new from Japan for $150. I got a bunch of lowball offers because other colors were being sold for a lot less. I held out and it sold for full asking price of $79.99 plus shipping. And it says Sani Splatoon Squid Stuffed Cushion Plush Pillow. Ha! Huh. How fun is that? $2 at a garage sale at 3 p.m. They were closing. Just listed it for $600 on eBay. Still in shock. It's a McDonald's camera. My only find at Goodwill one day. Paid $3.99. Had to join a Holt. Howard Group to learn more about this piece as there were no re recent comps. The line is called Daisy Dorable and the most common pieces found from this line seem to be the salt and pepper shakers sold on auction for $213. Holt Howard is definitely collectible. Always look it up if you see it. And a good point she made is joining Facebook groups that specialize in certain things. That can be a great way to get help with items that you're trying to sell. Another thing I use is WorthPoint. I love it. Um, I do have a link down below, a referral link, if you want to click on that and go over and check it out. I've also done a few videos showing you how it has paid off for me. I was one of those people that I put it off because it's kind of pricey, but I definitely believe that it is worth it. And I show you guys that in my videos because um, I want you guys to actually see why it's worth it. All right. Push, purchased at a Goodwill blue box of ties for $19.99 plus shipping. And this was probably the best in the box. Sold for best offer of $70 plus shipping. I hear lots of negativity about ties being a waste of time. But like anything else in reselling, much depends on the brand and the pattern. This is a new with tags Brooks Brothers B. It looks like little bumblebees. How cute is that? Silk tie, $70 plus shipping. Part of a huge bin filled with books at the Salvation Army auction for five bucks. The encyclopedia set was missing one out of 32 to 33 books. And I spent $9 to get the missing one to complete the entire encyclopedia set. Ended up selling it looks like for $299 with free shipping. Somebody put, can I ask how you ship these? Uh, they said I shipped media mail, but they were so heavy. All right. Bought these two sets in a box of glassware for $5 at a church rummage sale. I split them up into two sets and sold within two days to the same buyer. Mid-century modern uh, vintage Fenton Wright Madonna in goblets. And the other looks like maybe tumblers. So it looks like they sold for $148 plus shipping. All right, I paid a dollar each for these cool MCM mugs at an antique mall. They sold on eBay for $34.95 plus shipping. They weren't in perfect condition and one had a repaired handle. And this is vintage mid-century modern stackable ceramic mugs set of green with a leaf pattern. And she is a member of my Bolo Buddies channel. Um, I cannot think of her eBay store name, but I am going to pop it up here. I apologize. Um, it's a lot to keep track of, and I should have written it down before the video. I just did um, the featured members video, and I cannot remember it. Um, no YouTube channel, but eBay store. So check that out. Pick this up at the Goodwill. I paid $4.99. It sold for full asking price of $100. It is a Yankee Stadium replica model of Danbury Mint. I found this at a small off the beaten track 
thrift store when we were out for a drive. It was just stuck up on a dark shelf and I grabbed it when I saw it with no feet. I paid 25 cents, not sure because nothing was marked. Um, I said seven for two bags of stuff, or I'm sorry, I paid seven for two bags of stuff. So approximately 25 cents. I freaked when I saw the comp. So I listed it high and took a best offer of $215. Vintage Jiminy Cricket Pez, no feet, made in Austria. That is awesome. This was mine. Was a commission, so I only got half, but the real Ghostbusters, the complete series DVD 25 disc set sold for $489.99. That is in Canada, so I'm not sure what that converts over to in US. I'm not sure the conversion there. Garage sale find $2. Barbie We Three Friends Rare. Lot of two dance, 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 and splash, splash, splash. 80 bucks. That's awesome. Paid $2.50 at a local thrift, listed for $59.99 on eBay based on comps, sold on best offer for $50 plus shipping in less than a week. Vintage hexagon lap weaving looms by Love and Money Crafts, $50. The pullover I paid $8 for, it's a G4 in, in the brand, super high-end golfer gear, sold in two months. And it looks like it sold for $86 plus shipping. And it looks like that was on Mercari. Left in plate has raised flowers, paid $3, sold in two months. And it looks like that's an eBay sale, sold for $50 plus shipping, I do believe. Backpack Teddy paid $3 and sold in six weeks. It is a six weeks. It's a vintage mango teddy bear backpack. Sold for $48 plus shipping. And I have done well with plush backpacks as well. I picked this out of the bins, not knowing what I had. Just thought it was intriguing. When I got it home, I noticed a couple stains on the border and tossed it aside. I was going to spot treat it and was going along the border checking for the stains when I came across the words Hermes Paris. I set out a squeal and my husband thought I lost my mind. The stains ended up being scorch marks from someone ironing it. I disclosed all this and photos and put it up for auction and it sold for $149.50. Um, buyer paid shipping and about a quarter into this. How awesome is that? That is so exciting. From my father's estate, cake calculator didn't work. Still sold within the hour for $650. Let me repeat that. Calculator didn't work. And it sold for $650. Are you kidding me? It's a Hewlett, Hewlett Packard calculator with reader, printer, mini cassette case. And it says read because he's advising everyone to go down to the description and check out all of the details. All right. That is a fantastic bolo. That one comes from I buy chit, C-H-I-T that is. And he is awesome. He's always at all the live shows, hanging out in the YouTube chat. So if you ever see him, tell him hello, because he is a big money bolo finder and a very cool person. All right. Found at the Goodwill in a soft case um, with uh, in with backpacks, paid $5. Turns out it is a custom pool cue by a master cue maker. Wow. Sold it for $355. It looks like it's from 1997. Modern Wood West Elm Tray sold on Facebook Marketplace within a week. Got it for five bucks at a local thrift thrift shop. It had a West Elm sticker on the back and it's a current style. They still sell for a hundred. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Sold it for 75 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. West Elm Mango Wood Modern Deco Handle Tray. All right, this one comes from Mom Knows Treasures. Paid 25 for three true religion items, 833 a piece. Sold on Poshmark for 60, buyer paid shipping. Perched on the purchased on the online Canico Treasures slash Swaney. Took a, about a week to sell. So 60 on Posh. I'm still new at this, but bought this mini mouse, mouse ca ears hat about a year ago at Goodwill for $3.99. Popped it up on Mercari and eBay last month. Sold it on eBay for 22 bucks. So it is a Mickey Mouse hat. All right, you guys, that was almost 40 bolos. What do you think? Um, 
Thank you to everyone that shared. If you're watching, thank you for being here and watching. Thank you to everyone that watches the channel. If you're new here, drop me a comment in the description or no, not in the description, in the comments telling me how you found the channel. And definitely go subscribe to my Bolo Buddies, not subscribe, definitely go follow or join my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and share a Bolo if you want to be in a video just like this. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you to everyone. Some of you have been around since the beginning of my channel. If that's you, let me know in the comments. And thanks again for all of the support for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.